press big green button and start exercising. Swim in the sea and earn money for it? Sounds too good to be true. Up to $50 a day. Let's join the game that will last for six weeks. Recently, it has gone down dramatically. 12 cents, it's not even a number. Can I actually exchange them for like real money? The answer is... Sometimes I feel like life is unfair because I'm working on my laptop all day long while those random guys from TikTok are pretending they're earning some huge amounts of money just by running and exploring move to earn games. Surely it's not legit. Where is it? So today the industry finally sold it to me and I'm gonna be testing move to earn games myself. And at the same time, we're gonna answer some really important questions like how much can I actually earn just by doing exercises? Can it really help me get healthier? What are pros and cons of different games already existing? And after all, can we trust move to earn apps? So if you are really waiting for this honest review, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with your friends. So what are Move to Earn games? These are just the games that track my activity and can convert it into in-game tokens. Theoretically, later these tokens can be transferred into real currency. Move to Earn games are often advertised as a way of getting a passive income, even though it's not that passive. The first and the most popular Move to Earn game already existing is Step. So we can register and step in by a number of different ways, but we are getting an activation code on Discord. Now let us see what we actually need to do to start earning money. Stepping grants you its native in-game token called GST as a reward for exercising, and this token can later be transferred into USDC. But the thing is, to start earning money, you shall invest your money first. So first thing we need to do is buy platforms and native sneakers. And the rule is simple. No sneakers, no earning. Okay, so we can have a walker, jogger, runner or trainer sneakers in this app and then upgrade them. Now we have our sneakers and we can press big green button and start exercising. So to be ready to do exercises and earn, I have to have energy, my energy bar. And the more sneakers I get, the more energy I have. The energy bar is restored by 25% every six hours. So with one sneaker, I only have two energy bar and can exercise for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes of walking, running, or whatever. So how much did we manage to earn in 10 minutes? So if one just pays $0.25, it amounts to this sum. So not bad for a start, but I have no energy left. What do I need to earn more? Well, firstly, I can upgrade the sneakers using GST I've earned. Secondly, I could, guess what? Buy more sneakers. For example, having 15 sneakers would allow me to run for an hour a day. And then I could earn, oh, let's count. 60 minutes run, one energy for five minutes, five GST for one energy. It's about $20 for an hour. And plus, I would be very fit. So what are the pros and cons of stepping for me? The good thing is you can actually earn real money. And the system is very transparent and simple. The cons include the availability of GST price. Recently, it has gone down dramatically from $8 to less than a dollar. Plus, the app is based on Solana blockchain and its price can also change that can influence your earnings. Other obvious cons is a high initial investment. So the next game I'll be testing and reviewing is Dustland Runner. So the baseline of the story is the entire Earth has gone through a zombie apocalypse and the only place left is Dustland. So the game is set in post-apocalyptic world and you shall run as hell to reach the last four posts of your humanity left. So to start, you shall measure your fitness stats, choose the mission based on them, complete it and get a reward. A mission may include walking, running, cycling and other types of activities helping you get away from zombies. But going back to money, how can I actually start earning? I mean, I don't pay anything to start playing. And if new people don't bring new cash in, how can other people cash out? The thing is to start earning in-game tokens. I am supposed to buy their NFT first. NFTs cost roughly two dollars. Okay, so here's the thing. Honestly, I am exhausted. But after I completed the mission and have earned my tokens with my own sweat, blood, and tears. Can I actually exchange them for like real currency and earn real money? The answer is 
Wait for it. Wait for it? No. And I guess this is the actual reason Dustland is called post-apocalyptic world. So what are pros and cons of Dustlin Renner? What I love the most is that it offers us a story and people do love good stories. What's more, there are different types of exercise and like not only running you can choose. Plus, an immersive narrative also matters, which actually helps you dive deep into this world of Dustland and it makes you stay inside the game, you know, makes it more addictive. The biggest problem is I cannot actually exchange the tokens I've earned for real currency at this point. Of course, maybe that's gonna be possible in the future, but for now, it doesn't look like a reliable way of earning. The next game we'll be talking about is StepBet. StepBet is a new alternative to Stepin. So I've registered and now I can make a bet with my own money on me reaching my own fitness goals. Basically, a group of people bet $40 each and the final pot for 300 players is gonna be $12,000 is divided between those who complete the challenge minus 15% game commission. So let's join the game that will last for six weeks. I mean, who can plan for six weeks? So I didn't make the bet. Clearly, it's more stable and less dependent on the number of new players in the game. You get less risk, but less reward. So there is more sustainability. So you challenge yourself and you earn actual money, but six or eight weeks long game? Seriously? So finally, there is virtual. And what is cool about Virtual App is that you can earn virtual tokens by not just running, but also by swimming, dancing, and all of the different activities. Swim in the sea and earn money for it? Sounds too good to be true. So let's enjoy the ocean and see how much real money I can make with Virtual. Virtual App promises that you can earn up to $50 a day, which is true if you are a top earner in the game. Let me explain. The rest of the players are divided into seven ranks. It's, it's a bit like a pyramid or something. And the ranks go from starter to master. The daily in-game coins are distributed in a certain proportion, and the starter can only make 0.5 coins per day. That means that I can actually earn 12 cents a day. It's not even a number. So pros, diverse types of activities and cons, it's a total positive game. So let's sum up what did I learn from today. Step in is probably still most reliable move to earn a game if you are really aiming at earning money. Even taking into consideration the fact that token price is volatile and it falls down gradually. Dustlin Runner is a cool immersive gaming experience, but it is still unclear how and when we can monetize it somehow. StepBet is a good low risk and low reward option, but it's only gonna work if you can commit for a long term and your attention spin is like strong enough. And virtual is the most reliable way of earning laughably tiny amounts of money. So if that's your dream, then please download the app. So after all, my final question, are move to earn game a big Ponzi scheme? Well, technically, the answer has to be yes, because it's a zero-sum game. The value creation, when money enters, move to earn ecosystem, when money is removed from it. The value is not created, so the game totally depends on onboarding new users and addictive enough to keep them from cashing out. As long as the game is addictive and you get in early, you can keep earning. But Please keep in mind that there are no guarantees at all that the game won't collapse very soon. But in the end, all of them really help you get fit. And health is the most real asset.